everybody. I'm not eating the greatest dinner tonight. I just didn't move her again because some pasta away, so I'm eating my can of spaghetti and meatballs. I'm not really cooking anything tonight. So it's spaghetti and meatball night. Uh, it's been easy for me tonight. It's my my person. Wednesday, I'm going to go to that Dollar Tree in Malone, take a trip ride out to a, a little ride, go ride, I don't know what time I'm going or when I'm going, but I'm going for a little ride, go to Dollar Tree, different Dollar Tree for a change. They have a refrigerator section and freezer section, though, so that'll be cool. Pick up some more extra stuff to have in the house. You know what I mean? Well, I got money. I'm not going to blow my money like crazy, trust me, I'm not going to do that. Something's popping up for, onto my YouTube. Premiering in 8 minutes, COVID-19 and kids. I don't know what that, that is about, but I'm going to watch it. Two more new cases in my county. So we're up to 194 in our county. But they say that we're in stage two of reopening in New York. The drive-in theaters are allowed to open. Well, at least that's good, though. But for how long stage two is gonna last? You know. You know. Hopefully, hopefully people stay healthy. I'm, you know, I'm not hoping bad on people, but it's just the sickness is so bad. I don't really want to leave my house, leave my apartment, you know. But especially after I went on that shopping, I know Wednesday when I go places it's gonna be packed because people are getting that money, just like I got that money. So gotta be careful. Be careful. You know what I mean? I gotta be careful because there'll be a lot of people out and about on Wednesday. If I'm getting that thousand two hundred dollars, everybody else, a lot of people are gonna be getting thousand two hundred dollars. You know what I mean? I won't 
be the only one, you know. I'm not the only one in this town getting it, you know. Other people in my town are going to get that amount, too. So. You know, there's going to be a lot of other people out and about. So the store is going to be packed. It's going to be hard to find things. I don't need too many things, though. I'm really not going to try to spend my money too much. I only buy a few things that I really need. You know what I mean? I may buy a couple extra things, though. My freezer's kind of full, so I really don't have to worry about freezer food. Mom's giving me fake CD she made, so I have that for dinner on on Wednesday. She made fake CD, so I have that. That was quick. That food went fast. I've been hungry. Uh -uh. Excuse me. Sorry, I burped. <laughs> On Thursday, I'm going to go run to HUD and pick and drop off my paperwork in their mailbox. Look out to Kansas and drop off that paperwork. Go right out there with my mom or asked her. She said she'll take me out that way. We'll go right out that way. <clears throat> so I want to make sure I get all those papers in. I have to make sure I sign whatever other papers you sign. We'll do that tomorrow night. And then I'll drop those papers off in the, their mailbox. And all my paperwork will be in and should be in before June first. That's important. That's why I keep saying I have to do it. And just keep reminding myself. You know what I mean? It's important. I just hope my rent don't go up. Because they only pay a certain amount, and then I have to pay a certain amount. And if my rent goes up, then i got to pay more of it then, because they're not going to pay any more, you know. They already pay enough of my rent, you know what I mean? So if my rent goes up, i got to pay a lot more of it then. And that'll be, ugh, you know what I mean? So that won't be good for me. It's scary for me then. Plus, he's still selling this building, so who knows who's going to buy this building. I still worry about that, too. It's because this building's still up for sale, too. But I gotta get all these papers in. I wanna make sure I do that, you know. But Wednesday till it's gonna be a good day for me though. I'm just thankful for it, for that. You know. It's like I don't really deserve that, but I'm thankful for it.
these things I need that I can use it for, you know. I had a male now today. Bailed out two pigs today. Oh, when I took my doggy out, mailed out some mail. A couple things I had to mail. At least I mailed it out before four o'clock so the mail they could pick it up. So some stuff to hopefully get there before Friday. But I want the HUD, I want to drop off the HUD papers because it's going to take a lot of stamps and I don't feel like I got right now one stamp so I have to buy some stamps. Now I'll go buy some stamps. Come on, little minute pain in the ass. It's loaded. Pause for a second. Hey. And for the most part, our kids were not at risk. Hey. Well, children aren't affected. Oh, really? That's another fact that they're going to change on. New York State now confirming the number of children diagnosed with life threatening COVID related inflammatory illness is up to at least 93. Oh it's as many as five children in New York State Not died good. as a result. You want to keep reminding parents to better Not to good. look after symptoms and act quickly. Symptoms can include fever, usually for several days, rash, abdominal pain, change in skin color, and rapid heartbeat. My heart was racing. It was scary. I, I didn't think I was going to make it out the same, if at all. 14-year-old Jack McMorrow of Woodside was afraid he might not survive when he went into the hospital with illness he didn't have a name. When he came out 10 days later, it did. We're calling it pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome. It's a mouthful. Many of the children who have it never knew they were exposed to COVID-19, and their pediatricians tell us they believe the illness is an overactive immune response that actually develops several weeks after exposure to the virus. And that, Madeline Stephan, is why many of these children test negative for COVID-19, but eventually test positive for the antibodies. Local officials now keeping a close eye on these cases Yet another factor to consider when making decisions about things like summer camp and reopening school. Stefan? Not good. That was it. That was it. I sat here waiting a while for just that. And that was it. Sat here for a few minutes wait, waiting for that to pop up and it was just that. And then you wait. It's getting late. Or 9.30. Almost bedtime. Gonna watch. My hands been shaky today. I don't know why. What amazing looking eyes! Try Lumify, the one of a kind eye drops that Allure magazine said could be a game changer. Lumify dramatically mm -hmm. reduces redness to help your eyes look whiter and brighter for up to eight hours with just one drop. Lumify. I don't know what's gonna happen.